Hey everyone, Naked Strad here. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how I go about in creating a Monday improv video. So I thought I'd answer all those questions in today's video. So I'm going to tell you guys the equipment and software I use to make these Monday improv video, And then I'm going to give you guys an inside look in uh, the whole process of making these video happen. So first let's get to the drums. I am using Get Good Drums in FL Studio. I'm specifically using uh, Matt Halpern. And when I'm creating these drums, I'd like to use a uh, MIDI keyboard because of the control I have over velocity and uh, the MIDI controller. And then I have my guitar plugged into the headrest gig board and the left and right output of the gig board is, is plugged straight into my uh, left and right uh, input of the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. In the Monday Improv video, the Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 is being recorded in Reaper so it's able to pick up uh, the drum, uh, my guitar, everything through the looper feature on uh, the HUDRES gig board. Now let me show you guys how I create my drums. So now that we're in FL Studio, click on play so you can hear the metronome. So I usually set the BPM to whatever, like let's say for today, let's put it on um, 164, let's see. Right, it's a little bit fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. Um, have it at 142. Now I have the MIDI keyboard ready to go. I don't have a lot of room on my desk, so I'm gonna have to keep it in my lap. All right, so, let's see. So it's gonna be a simple drum beat. Alright, so I'm gonna, so the drum beat is gonna be something simple. I'm gonna do uh, like a kick on a one and a snare on a three. It's gonna be like a basic uh, drum beat. So let's hit record and then it's gonna do a countdown. Alright, and usually after I have the uh, idea kind of uh, put into the piano roll. What I like to do, I like to go into the piano roll and kind of like line up uh, the kick and snare to uh, to the line on the grid, so it's kind of on beat. Alright, so it's gonna be so so the kick and snare is gonna be on beat. So two, kind of messed up there. A little bit too soon there. Then put that there. Alright, so that's a nice little uh, idea going there. Alright, so what I like to do is double up on uh, the beat. So, Alright, and then let me turn that off. Let me get a, a hi-hat going. Should I put a crash out here? Yeah. Hear that, how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. All right, let's double up on the high, high hat closed. I think maybe I could get rid of that trash in the middle. Alright, that sounds better. Alright, cool. Now what I like to do after I have the drum uh, all mapped out, ready to go, I like to add a little bit of a compressor. So it, so it gives the drums a little bit of more of a, like an oomph to it. So, route it to this track only. Uh, let's see where it is. And right here you can kind of hear this without the uh, compressor and then you can kind of hear it gives it a little bit more bass to it, a little bit more um. Alright, and then 
go back in here. Because I didn't do use the MIDI keyboard on this one, I'm gonna have to go in and kind of adjust the velocity just a little bit. Kind of make it all like at a little bit of a random velocity. That way, that way it doesn't sound like it's all being hit at the exact same uh, attack. If that makes sense. So it kind of gives it a more of a realistic sound in uh, each of these uh, hits. Alrighty, now we are ready to uh, export the drum beat onto the headrest gig board. But now I plug the USB into the gig board. Alright, and then go in here, global settings, USB transfer. So I'm going to open that up. Alright. Now I go to export, wave file, head rush, loops, then name it uh, improv tutorial, I guess, and then enter, start. All right, and then unplug the USB, and then hit the sync button. All right, and now we should have the was it improv tutorial drums on the gig board. Now, depend on what kind of chord progressions I want to use. Uh, if it's a little bit longer than uh, 6.7 seconds, what I'll have to do is double up on the length. Now let's get a little bit of a loop going. Alright. Make it, I'm gonna double up on the length. Right, I think I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of A minor. I think that's the chord progression I'm gonna go with. Alright, so. Let me double that up. Alright, overdub. Once I have uh, the rhythm going, and if I want to add a little bit of a bass to it, I go put on an octave pedal and have a little bit of bass going.
Right now I'm playing uh, A minor pentatonic. So. So yeah, that is my whole process in creating a Monday Improv video for you guys. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it answered any questions that you guys might have had. And if it did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And also subscribe if you're new. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.